Ladies and gentlemen, new week, new video. You know what it is. Let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Remember to like and subscribe to definitely follow for more videos. And uh, I'm going to be discussing a lot of stuff. Things are popping in this NFL offseason. Franchise tags coming up. Combine was just had. Free agency's coming. And uh, draft right after. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot to say. But let's just dive right into this. Russell Wilson was had today for two firsts, two seconds. Drew Locke, Shelby Harris, and Noah Fant. Big deal. Big, big deal. The AFC West is now a super conference. I feel worse. I feel bad for none other than Derek Carr and the Raiders. The Raiders, I felt like, were an up-and-coming team. And don't get me wrong, I think they're going to be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I think they're going to be competitive, but I don't see how they survive this conference, unfortunately, like this, this has to be, they're probably going to be the best worst team in a division we've ever seen. Justin Herbert, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Derek Carr are all in the same division, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's interesting because Aaron Rodgers was rumored to go here for quite some time. And the reason for that is, you know, everybody knows about the drama with Aaron Rodgers, but the Denver Broncos have been long been felt to be a quarterback away because we all saw what happened when they had Peyton Manning. And they've been suffering ever since trying to find a quarterback since Peyton Manning. So they've been, you know, thinking they're a quarterback away for quite some time. And I think they found the best quarterback for their situation. If you ask me, I'm a big fan of Russell Wilson. I have, I have long thought Russell Wilson is very special. If you gave him, you know, certain tools, they like, just watch what he can do with it. Um, I, I have put him up there like with Patrick Mahomes in terms of how special I think Russell Wilson is. And, uh, and in this case, I think he might even be more valuable because as we've seen, he doesn't even need an old line to be valued. So with that being said, I'm hyped to see what he does with Cortland Sutton. No, no well, they traded no offense. Uh, Cortland Sutton, what's the other kid's name? Jerry Judy. Tim Patrick, who is coming on. And then they got KJ Hamler, who's a speedster. You know, this is going to be exciting to watch, guys. I, I This is going to be must-see TV. We get to see Russ versus Pat Mahomes twice. It's going to be great. It may be three times if they both make the playoffs. I, I don't see a situation where they don't. Now, as a, you know, Jaguar fan, <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all don't care, but I am a Jaguar fan. You know, it, it just kind of makes me shake my head because we got, we already felt like there was a long way to go. But now in our conference alone, we have Russ, Pat, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr. We have the Titans to deal with. Uh, don't let the Colts figure out their quarterback situation. We have Joe Burrow. We have Josh freaking Allen, Lamar Jackson, all in this conference. This is going to be a gauntlet. And this is also why we all knew that Aaron Rodgers was full of shit. He signed a big time deal, way to fleece the Packers. It did, I believe, help them in the short term with some of their salary cap situation and allowed for them to franchise tag Devontae Adams. So, you know, it, it was a little give and take there. But... We, I knew, a lot of people really thought Aaron Rodgers was going to leave. Why would you leave Green Bay? A, they're willing to commit money to you. B, you've been Mr. Green Bay. You supplanted, su supplanted uh, Brett Favre. You saw how he went out. Why would you want to go out like that? Much less, why would you want to go to the AFC and run this gauntlet when the NFC is as wide open as we've ever seen it? We don't know what's going to happen to the Rams, but they're going to be in the mix. Tom Brady just retired. Like, you can't really believe that the Niners are, 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 you know, are better than you. You were just a special teams player away from being in the NFC Championship game. You know, th th there's so much to like about being in the NFC, not to mention you got a rookie quarterback in your conference. You got the Vikings in flux. They just lost their head coach. They're, they, you know, uh, Kirk Cousins is pretty much a lame duck quarterback this season. And then the Lions are the Lions. Why would you leave that situation? Your best chance to win is right where you're at, where you're comfortable, and where you're the man at. So that's just my opinion on that situation. But Russ, I can't wait to see it. I know a lot of guys on Madden probably going to be running that team. I digress, guys. 
Well, let me know what y'all think, but I think it's <laughs> I think it's a beast move. I can't wait to see what else the offseason got. I, I definitely didn't expect it this early. So, I mean, it, it, it was a little weird. Uh, make sure y'all hit my boy Shane up. Uh, you know, I know he's been kind of a ghost that, you know, we've done a couple of Zooms together uh, and he's a Steelers fan. And I told him, well, he actually called me and asked me my opinion about a possible trade of Russell Wilson. Just about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, we were discussing Russell Wilson possibly to the Steelers, right? And I told him, if y'all got Russell Wilson, I think you guys are instant Super Bowl contenders. I don't think much of them right now because their quarterback and O-line situation is atrocious, but Russell Wilson doesn't need an O-line. The Steelers' O-line is better than the Seahawks' O-line. So imagine putting Russell Wilson with Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, uh, I, I can see a DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett similarity style, you know, in that system. So imagine him with that Steelers defense, which don't get me wrong. I don't think the Steelers defense is all world, but they're still a very good defense. Imagine that scenario. The only reason I bring this up because I'm getting long winded on this is the guy said, what if we give up Alex Highsmith? I believe it was Kendrick Green, some 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 old lineman on his trash old line, and three second round picks. I had to explain to him, sir. Matt Stafford was just had for two firsts, and technically more than that because if you really want to think about it, it's like four because they they I believe the Rams traded two firsts to draft Jared Goff, then flipped Jared Goff and two firsts for Matt Stafford. The conversation for Russell Wilson starts at three first round picks. And he told me I was crazy. So I told him, okay, it starts at three first round picks. There was, there, I don't remember a scenario where there was a Pro Bowl MVP Super Bowl winning type quarterback that was half or less than a first. Russell Wilson will get, will garner no less than a second, no, not, not a second, two first and change is what I told him. And long, lo and behold, two firsts, two seconds, three players. And in, and in this scenario, I think it works out for both teams. The Seattle Seahawks are clearly in a rebuild. I've discussed previously how stupid they were for that trade for Jamal Adams. That was one of like, and, and I like Jamal Adams. But for what they gave up and, and they had to pay him, and, and now look at them. I, I mean, they're in a full-on rebuild. But hopefully they made good with those picks. Maybe they can recreate a Legion of Boom. Uh, Noah Fant, I'm sure that hurt a little bit for, for the Denver Broncos to have to give up. I'm sure they were ready to kick Drew Locke out of there, which I, I'm of the minor minority, I know. I'm not that down on Drew Locke. I, I kind of thought the kid got a raw deal instantly. You, you know, Denver Broncos kind of made it known that they had no use for Drew Locke. I, I thought he was a young kid. There, there's a little Jay Cutler to him in terms of like his general skill set. And I don't mean that in a bad way because we all know Jay Cutler sucked ultimately. But Jay Cutler had a cannon, um, was able to do some things. It was more of a mindset thing with Jay, with, with Jay Cutler that, that, that turned a lot of people off. I think Drew Locke has a lot of the good that Jay Cutler has. Um, we'll see what happens. I think he just needed a team that believed in him. And uh, we'll see what happens. He's got weapons. He's got DK Metcalf. He's got Noah Fant to come with him. And he's got Tyler Lockett. No O-line. They're doing him no favors. We'll see what happens. Remember to like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you think. Those are my thoughts. Peace.